Hello there, my name is Marcy Card from Bricks Templates and today I'm going to show you how to edit or remove the preloader on your Webflow template. Okay, so as you can see, some of our Webflow templates have these little page loaders that are kind of officially called preloaders and it looks something like this. When you load a page, it has like this little loader and then it loads the page completely. This has some intentions like to leave, leave all the content to load before you actually show the page. But the truth is that not everyone likes it. Like a lot of people just don't like to have this little waiting and just wait for the website to load. So if that's you and if you don't like this, we can let you know that it's very, very simple to remove them. A lot of our templates have this functionality and all of them have the same logic on how to add them, remove them, or edit them. So I will explain these with our template Studio Pro X. However, there's many more templates that have it. If you have another one that it's not this, we just invite you to follow the same steps and you will see that things apply exactly the same. So, okay. You need to go into your template, into the Webflow Designer, like you can see here. And then if you open a navigator, here on the, on the top left, you will see that you have this thing called the load graph, which is pretty much this thing. We can actually like put it, put it here and you will see this is pretty much the load graph. So the main thing to actually you know, like being able just to remove this is to actually just delete this thing. You can see that if we click here on preview, it just works, but if we remove it, I will just select it and click delete. Uh, and we click play again, you will see it just doesn't load anymore. It's pretty much instant this time. So it is really as easy as that. Like you can just select it, remove it, and that is all. You will notice that probably in some template, the name is a little different. Maybe it says like preloader or something like that. Uh, sometimes from time to time, we use slightly different uh, class names depending on the templates. So you can just identify that because it will say something in the, in the range of loader or preloader or animation loader. You can just delete it and that is all. On the other hand, you actually don't want to delete it, but you want to edit that. The easiest way to do that is just to click here. You can see this one is hidden, but you can unhide it clicking here. And you will see that automatically you will see like all of these elements that can be editable. As you can see here, all of these look here on the top. And this because like these are uh, using a special CSS property. But you can just select them. Let's say that you want these not to be green, but you actually want it to be like orange, for example. And then you don't want these to be blue, but you actually want it to be, I don't know, like uh, what's a nice color? Uh, probably green, let's say. So, and then if you go back here, you select this loader wrap again, you hide it the way it was. And then you go ahead and you try to, to preview the page, you will see that the colors just change it. And it's really as easy as that. For the, like for the, any other template that have these, the process is the same, as I mentioned. Uh, some, some of them have images as preloaders. You can just replace the image. Some of them just have like elements like this one. So you just need to follow the same process. And that is pretty much it. That being said, if for any question, if for any reason you have any questions, there's any part of the of the process that was not super clear for you and you're a little confused, we always invite you to get in touch with us. If you're at the bottom of our website, you have a contact us button. You can click on that, get in touch with us, and one of our support team members will be more than happy to help you out to just fix this out. Our goal is to set you up for success on on your new Webflow template. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and we will be more than happy to help you out. So again, this is Morris Carr from Bricks Templates and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.